You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John chapter 20 verses 1 to 19. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told him, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. A resounding happy Easter to one and all. Yes, Christ is risen. He is not dead. He is indeed risen and continues to live among us. St. Paul says in his first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 14, If he is not risen, then our faith is in vain. Jesus' resurrection assures us that death is, is not the end of life's journey. It is just a passage to eternal life. And because we believe that Jesus indeed rose from the dead, we are full of hope that we have a heaven to look forward to and a hell to keep away from. In John chapter 11, verse 25, Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live. These words of Jesus are a big challenge for us, that is, to live our faith in Jesus. One writer says, Temporary or unstable hope for the future is not enough. Our hope must be permanent and unchangeable. God created us to enjoy an unending relationship with Him, But a significant hindrance exists. Our sinfulness blocks us. And deep within us, we are pleading and crying out for deliverance from this cage of sin. Oh, very true. But today's celebration of Easter of Christ's resurrection reminds us once again that God has already given us an absolute answer to our longing. He has gifted us with His very own Son, Jesus, who became one like us, bore our sins, and endured all sufferings. His passion and death on the cross were the only acceptable sacrifice to God, our Father, for us to be reconciled back to Him. His passion, death, and resurrection give us a pattern for life as Christians, a pattern that keeps inviting us to keep rising each time we fall. God is so merciful. He doesn't mind whether we fall several times for as long as we turn to Him repeatedly and beg Him to give us the strength of Jesus to rise anew. And if we keep living according to this pattern, heaven awaits us. 
We also pray to our Heavenly Father to give us the willpower to always say no to the evil dictates of Satan. Father, thank you for sending us your Son, Jesus, to redeem us from our sins and to be reconciled with you. Help us seek you and follow the life pattern that Jesus has set for us as an example. May our daily experiences of death and rising gain us everlasting happiness in life. Amen. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.